Hi everyone! This month will be a recap highlight video of my time in Japan. During my four weeks there, I had the privilege to see and be part of the team's engagements in Tokyo. As I mentioned in my last update, Japan is the second largest unreached nation in the world. I too, like some of you, were surprised at this. I didn't know Japan is a top unreached nation. I've been to Japan a few times for vacation before, but never looked at it through the lens of spiritual need. I think sometimes it's easier to see the needs in developing places because of the tangible ways that we can provide help, but that doesn't mean developed countries like Japan should be written off our list. When we say we want to go to the hard places where Jesus is not known, this includes spiritually hard places too. And just for some statistics for some of you that are curious, Japan's population is about 125 million people, and the number of cross-cultural missions workers went down 34% in the last 20 years. It now averages about 1 IW for every 64,000 people. Although there are churches in Japan, there is only about 1 church for every 16,000 people, and the churches are an aging population. Learning all of this was surprising to me. There are about 22 unchurched cities in Japan and 546 unchurched towns. I've learned that reaching a Japanese takes time, intentionality, and commitment. The team in Tokyo seeks to develop relational discipleship through different interest areas. Some of that includes after-school kids program to get to know the families in the community, women's tea time to further those established relationships, and English clubs for adults in the community who want to practice English. I had the opportunity to share at one of the women's Bible studies about how God speaks to me in leading me to cross-cultural missions. The ladies asked questions and were engaged. It was so encouraging for me that how God has worked in my life encouraged and challenged them. They were able to relate to my story and saw how it could be applied in their own walks. The majority of the team's in current engagements, as you can see, are with families. I wanted to check out the possibilities of creating relational discipleship with Japanese singles as well, so I also ventured out to other English conversation cafes. I was worried that with no Japanese knowledge, I wouldn't be able to connect with them or that most people that show up may be foreigners. But to my surprise, many were Japanese students or working class people that were open to meeting new friends while practicing English. I am so thankful for the opportunity to visit and be with different teams to see the needs and how God is at work. Thank you to each of you that have been praying and encouraging me along the way. God has indeed been showing me how he has wired me and giving me more clarity for the future.